brother just keeps taking L's. Then ambient noise in the background just makes this so much better. The music is killing me. <laughs> Sorry for your loss, man. Am I allowed to laugh at this? I'm gonna cry! No! Oh, bless him and you! <laughs> no! I feel so bad. This ghost wasn't faster than the fire. Is this a go karts reference? That was him in heaven passing the torch down to you. When you die, your kids must beat your record and take over the reign of the Mario Kart realm. He's fine. My brother is fine, guys. It's okay. Why can't I pin my comments? My brother is still alive. What the fuck? Why, Why did everyone watch this one out of all the other videos that I've made? Stop leaving comments. If you want to say something, it's probably already been said, and I don't want to read it again. I'd just like to confirm that my brother is three years younger than Two years. Alright, so I posted a video referencing a Reddit meme I saw a while back about somebody beating their sibling's ghost data in Mario Kart, and then realizing that that's really the only trace of him he had left, and now it's gone forever. I recreated that in the form of that TikTok that I made that for some reason just blew up over the course of eight hours. It's got like a, a thousand comments now, like 700,000 likes, but um... But yeah, there's a bunch of people who said, hope you're okay, buddy. We're really sorry for your loss. I'm so I did not- he is fine. My brother is fine, right? I think he's fine. Yeah. He good? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good. So, um, yeah, um, there was a few people going, oh, I know how it feels to lose a sibling. I'm sorry for your loss. I cannot relate, and I'm kind of grateful. I'm sorry. Um, no one should ever have to go through that. Um, on a more light note. Oh my god! Bro, there's no one there. Denial is a river in Egypt. Oh, for real. he thinks he can still see him. Stay strong. Still in the denial stage. Stay strong, brother. Uh, you need to wash your hair. Hey all, I just woke up. I accidentally went viral a couple days ago um, because I made a TikTok based off of a Reddit meme that was apparently based off of a movie and I was none the wiser. And unfortunately that led to a bunch of people thinking, <sighs> well they thought that I was, my brother was dead. Um, but he's not, so I ended up making a video clearing that up. But when I made the video I had just hopped out of the shower. Um, unfortunately that, I'm, I don't know, I like really bad at cleaning my hair, I guess I like dry it like one, just doesn't work. So that led to a bunch of numbskulls like these telling me, oh, you gotta wash your hair, even though it had nothing to do with the video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, I, this, that was how my shower, my hair looked after I showered, look. Okay, this is what my, my hair looks like when I, I've just showered. I, it, 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 this is how it looks. I, so I didn't need to wash my hair because I had already washed my hair. Also, I didn't use any kind of shampoo because quite frankly, I don't, I use shampoo in the shower. Okay, I just didn't need it for this video because I, I don't need shampoo to get my hair wet. I just need water. 
Also, I know what I said before about not being able to properly wash my hair. I properly wash my hair all the time. It's just get some shampoo, massage it into the scalp. I cannot properly dry it, so I just rub it with a towel for 30 seconds. That doesn't seem to work, so I just wait for it to get dry over the next hour. And then I usually go back to looking like a fat Stephen King bully again. It's, it's all good. <sighs> all right, thank you very much. Uh, have a great day. Hey, it's right now, Dallas. Um... I'm editing this right now. That one that you just saw where I took a shower with my clothes on. I said a lot more in that one than I thought I did. Last time I watched it was like five months ago. So I didn't remember any of it. But it turns out I said a lot more than I thought I said. So to dumb it down, just to dumb it down right now. When I get water in my hair, my hair gets wet. That's it. So, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I mean, it's not, I say that like the video's over. The video isn't over yet. Um, but thank you for just hearing me out at the moment. And also, everybody on TikTok, take a shower. And you too will realize that your hair gets wet. Unless you're bald. Or you're like, made of plastic or something. I don't know. Maybe they are all made of plastic. Maybe they are, they have like, just like Lego hair. I wouldn't be surprised because they obviously have no clue that water makes you wet. So, uh, thank you very much and, uh, I might have to go to bed after this. It's like really late. Cheers. So basically this guy is saying, good job bro, you did this for likes. I did what for likes? What is this? What is this? Is this me sitting in my room, rubbing my grubby little fingers together, twirling my mustache and going, if I can uh, trick TikTok.com into thinking that my little brother is dead, then I'll get a bunch of clout. Huzzah! No. No, I didn't do that. What I did was I made a fictional scenario based off of a 2008 Speed Racer. It was not my intention to make 2.6 million people think that I was, that my brother is deceased. But it happened anyways. And you know what? I'm willing to woe up to the mistake that I made. And I apologize to everybody who was confused and who has gone through that horrible tragedy and any, everybody who, uh, like, put me in their prayers when I didn't deserve it at all. But I've got a bunch of people going, oh, why didn't you, like, put a disclaimer saying that this is a fake situation in the bio of the video, in the description of the video. Do me a favor. Do me a favor right now. Go into my account. Scroll down a little bit. Scroll down past the video that got 2.6 million views and you'll find that most of my videos have, oh, I don't know, 2,000 views, 1,000 views, uh, 300 views, 200 views. Now tell me how I was supposed to expect 2.6 million people to come along and watch that video. Oh, oh, like, just imagine that you, imagine for a second, it's annoying. Imagine that you are a lumberjack, and you uh, cut down trees every day, and nobody gets hurt, but then suddenly you cut down a tree, and it lands on top of 2.6 million people. How are you supposed to see that coming? That's not your fault. It's not your fault. You didn't realize they were there. You didn't realize that they were going to be standing underneath your tree. <sighs> Listen, I don't want to be that person who goes, oh me, me, me in their apology video, but I just want to make it known, if I had taken, if I had known that that was going to happen, and that I was going to accidentally trick a bunch of people, then I would have taken the steps necessary to not have that happen. I did, I'm not the bad guy here, I did not make up this, I did, I was trying to make a silly video on the internet, I did not mean to trick anybody. I did, I would have 
not done that if I had known that I was going to trick a bunch of people. But I digress. Have a good day. Two years. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad.